Hello everybody, welcome back. Thank you for joining me for another video. All right, so before I get started, I hope everybody who celebrates Easter had a great Easter weekend. Um, and for those of you who are Orthodox, like myself, um, our Easter is actually this upcoming weekend. So I'm excited to go see my family, go have a great Easter weekend. Super excited. So happy Easter to those of you who are celebrating this upcoming weekend. Um, a quick shout out to my little boy, um, Echo. It is his birthday today. Echo turns three today. And uh, yes, he's still a troublemaker. Yes, he's a pain in my butt, but I love him to death. And so happy birthday to my husky boy, Echo. Um, another real quick thing I wanted to show you guys is for those of you who are longtime viewers, you will have seen that I have been in two magazines by um, United Colors of Design. And I'm happy to report that I am now in a third edition of one of these magazines. And it is the turquoise edition, one of my favorite colors next to blue. So I am super stoked to be in the turquoise edition of the United Colors of Design. And I will show you I'm on page 100 and I have a two page spread. <laughs> How cool is this? Uh, I'm super, super excited. Thank you to the author and creator of this magazine, Amy Bell, um, for putting me for a third time into one of her magazines. Um, super, oh, there we go, that's me. Super duper excited um, and I love that if you watch, if you see this on digital, like on your computer, you can actually click here and it'll take it to the video of this painting. Um, but yeah, super excited. If you are interested in buying a copy of one of these magazines, there's so many things in this magazine, um, all kinds of stuff. Uh, I'm just trying to see if there's like, let me see here. So like, here's the table of contents. I'll just put that there really quick. So that way you can kind of pause and make, maybe kind of see what kind of things are in the book. But yeah, it's super, super cool. And you can get this off Amazon. So I will try to remember to put the link of this magazine uh, for Amazon Canada and Amazon US. If you are outside of the US and Canada, you can actually still buy it on Amazon. This book is on, sold countrywide, worldwide. Um, so yeah, just look for United Colors of Design, um, turquoise, the turquoise book, and then you'll find it. But again, I'll try and put the links if you want to purchase. I got this off Amazon. Um, so yeah, and now I just wanted to show you, in the last video, I did not show you the dried results of my yellow painting. So here it is. These are the dried results, and you can see there's definitely shimmer in that so that dried perfectly and again none of that touched so I still have the little negative space there the negative space here and here so it dried wonderfully and this is a 14 by 14 and still available for purchase for anyone who is interested and then here is the dried results from the last video um, I'm super loving this. My client loves it as well, um, but it dried perfectly. So here's the bluish side. And then let's swap over here. Now, oops, hit my light there. But do you see how this is the iridescent red violet, right, by Pebeo? So you look this way and it's all purple. You go this way and it's got a blue hue to it. Um, it is really cool. And when you look at this in the light, it's amazing. So obviously it still needs a top coat of crystal resin. And so once that's done, these colors are going to pop. But I really had fun doing this and I'm going to do more. I'm gonna do different types of colors and stuff, but I really did enjoy um, doing this style. So I'll definitely do more of those. All right, so don't forget Seattle, Washington. Oh, it's less than two weeks away. I am stoked. I've already started packing. Um, I'm super excited. You are still able to purchase tickets if you want to come to Seattle, Washington. 
go to www.fluidartexperience.com and check it out. Buy your tickets. There's the gala, the meet and greet. Um, coming up in a couple of videos, you are going to see a video of a piece that is going to be auctioned off. One of the pieces I'm creating is going to be auctioned off at the gala um, for a chance for someone to win it. It's going to be a lot of fun. So if you'd like to attend, check out the website. You still have time to buy tickets and it's going to be a blast. And then of course, Vegas, PoorCon, um, August 7th, 8th, and 9th. You still have time to purchase tickets and get that early bird special. You have until April 22nd, I believe and you can get a discount on your ticket for PoorCon. So if you want that information, the link for all that is again in the description below. So check out the description below for all the details on both events. All right, today we are doing orange. Two colors left, orange and green. So today is gonna be orange. Let me get myself set up and let's get started. All right, everybody, let's get started. So here I have a 14 by 14 inch canvas. And it's not the greatest. I have found that these 14 by 14s that I've been buying from Michaels are pretty, not warped, but they're definitely, um, the corners of these canvases are like indented and I've sprayed the back with water and it, it, it did tighten it up um, a bit, quite a bit, but these edges here still have these divots, like these dimples and it drives me bananas, um, but yeah. Uh, you can't get perfection sometimes. It is what it is. Uh, anywho, so I'm obviously using my Oxide Black by Amsterdam. And the colors I'm using, I struggled with this because all the oranges are almost the same color. Um, so, you know, I'm trying to look for like a contrasting really, actually, you know, the more I think about it, I do have reflex. I might, I might throw that in there. Let me think about that. But let's start with Iridescent Orange Yellow by Pebeo. Then I have Azo Orange by Amsterdam. Huh, I just thought of something else. See, my mind's always running. Pearl Tangerine Orange by Arteza. Then I have Naples Yellow Red by Amsterdam. Now I know it says red, but come on, it looks orange to me. And then for like a contrasting color, I'm adding Pearl Marmalade by Arteza. And then topping it off, I have Vermilion by Amsterdam. So those are the colors I chose, but now I'm kind of thinking about something. Um, I'm really thinking I should add Reflex Orange in there for a pop against the black. Um, and then this is, this is Quinacridone Nickel Azo Gold by Golden. And this is what Kathleen gave me um, when I was in Florida visiting her. But it kind of looks brown, so I think I'm going to x nay that. But I think I will add some vermilion, just a little tiny bit of it, somewhere in between here. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll do that. Now, if you are new watching and you want to know how I mix my paints, and the ratios, check out video number 434. I will link it up here at the top. That is a full tutorial on how I mix my paints. All right, I'm gonna flood my canvas and I shall be right back. canvas has been flooded bubbles have been popped so let's get started now I'm gonna try to remember not to go all the way to the top when I because then I think that's what happens when my two colors get too close together ah my bottles cracked well four years and the bottle is finally cracked the lid so I need a new lid well, that just goes to show how long these bottles last. This is one of my originals from my Pebeo. All right, yes, that's better. See, now I have more space there. All right, let me clean this up because, yeah, I'm gonna have to toss this bottle and put in a new one. 
four years. Not bad. All right, Azo Orange. I'm super excited for Easter. My kids are excited for a second Easter. It means double presents, double chocolate, double everything. So, but it'll be nice to go see my family, my brother, his kids, all that. So I'm looking forward to that. And of course, lamb. Big, big thing with Greek Easter is lamb on a rotisserie. So sorry for those of you who are vegetarians or don't like meat, I apologize, but I love it. But yeah, super excited to go down. Um, but I'm actually really super excited about Seattle. I'm already half packed. I cannot wait. There is something in my paint. Um, I'm excited just to get away. Oh, I was supposed to put that in the middle somewhere and then see what happens. I start jibber jabbering and I'm not paying attention. Oh, I guess it's going on the top now. It is what it is. Maybe that was a good thing. Oh yeah, she's bright. <laughs> Look at that. Well, maybe that's a good thing. Maybe that was a sign. Anywho, see what happens when I talk. I don't pay attention to what I'm doing. All right, let's uh, let's see what happens. Let's get started. I guess I better turn that the right way. All right, let's go. Okay, so things I just learned that I knew before and now I remember I did it. So again, with when you do your lines, you know, in, in the yellow one, I had like gone all the way to the top here and did my line and you know, obviously here I did it shorter. So the shorter your line, the better blowout you're gonna have and less chances of these two touching over here and here. Um, and I now am super, super happy that my reflux orange, reflex orange, not reflux, reflex orange um, went on the top because I think it really added that bright pop of orange that it needed. Now, look, I hate orange. It's probably one of my least favorite colors next to browns. Um, but I know there are some of you out there that love orange. And to me, this is a... Halloween-ish. Yes, I said it. But someone out there is going to love it. I know it. I know it. Um, but I love the blowout and I love the cells that are happening. I think I'm just going to blow this a little bit because it's like really straight lined here and I want to give it a little bit of a bump. So just a bump, a little bump like that. That's it. Now I like this, but it's not on this side, but I have a feeling this is gonna go over. So I could either keep the negative space here and add it here or just get rid of it and leave it. I think I'm just gonna get rid of it. So I don't know actually, I kind of like the negative space. So let's see here, let me see, let me fidget. Okay, 
So now I actually kind of like that. So I'm kind of going to do that on this side. So I'm going to take my actual scraper and I'm going to just do a little bit of like that. That's it. Just a little spot. And then you're going to add black and then you're going to obviously take care of the side to make sure the side doesn't have any orange on it because then it's just not going to match. Not sure I like that now because it's it's only like this much of color. So I think I'm gonna kinda go a little back. All right, that's way better. Okay, and then oh the sides are looking great. Okay, that's it. So now I like that. Now I'm gonna touch up my edges and I'm going to bring you guys in for a close up. Be right back. All right, everybody. So don't forget to take your stick and you want to scrape the drips. Scrape the drips, all four sides. Come back to your painting about 10 minutes later, do it again and then a third time and you should be good to go. All right, um, I'm loving, I'm so glad. I put the reflex orange on top. Really, really made a difference in this painting a lot. It really, really did. So I guess that's what we call a happy accident because it really made it pop. All right, got the lights off and the flash on and there's definitely my camera is changing the colors on this the closer I get but there's definitely shimmer in here it's just hard to see this was gonna be really pretty when it dries for sure oh you can really see my flash in that this time around super bright Anywho, you get the idea. And there you have it, everybody. Um, I'd like to know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Um, it's available for purchase for you orange lovers out there. It's available. Um, email me at canelosiraco at gmail.com. I do still have a few pieces left that are still 50% off from my 50% off sale. If you are interested and want to know what's left, just email me and I will tell you what's left and the prices. Um, check out the description below for the links to Seattle, Washington and PorCon in Vegas. And that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Happy birthday, Echo. And until next time, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.